Hi guys. The first question. Allahabad pillar inscription is associated with which one of the following? Mahapadmananda, Chandragupta Maurya, Ashoka, and Samudra Gupta. The answer is D. Samudra Gupta. The Allahabad inscription was given by Hari Sena. Hi, Sailaja. He was the king, Vakataka king of also Prime Minister Samudra Gupta. <coughs> the next question <coughs> the book Mrichakatikam is an ancient Indian book written by Shudraka and it deals with it was given in 2003 UPSC prelims it's a love affair of rich merchant with the daughter of a courtesan the victory of Chandragupta the second over Shaka Shatraps of Western India military expedition and exploits of Samudra Gupta love affair between Shunga king and maid. The answer must be D, a love affair between Shunga king and a maid. <coughs> Consider the following. The Gupta empire was divided into a number of provinces which were called Bhojas. The Gupta kings created two new classes, Sandhi Vigrahika and Kumaramatya. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Only one, only two, one and two, none of the above.
<coughs> the answer for this is B. See, Bukta province was called Bukti. Gupta province was called Bukti, not Bhoja. Bukti headed by Uparika. I have reiterated this many, in time, many times in the class. Since the question is asking which of the following E's or are correct, so it will be only two. <coughs> now this is only B. Which of the following is known for his work on medicine during Gupta period? Saumila, Shudraka, Shaunaka, Shushruta. Yes, Saujanya, it is uh, for Shushruta. Shushruta is the medical expert known in the Gupta period who wrote Shushruta Samhita. Can you tell any, any idea who, in whose court Shushruta was there? Yes, Rahul, try it. Shushruta, Shushruta. See, this is Gupta period. It's not Gupta kingdom. They were basic, basically in Kanishka's court. Shushruta and Charaka both. Let us see the first next question. Bhoga, Udinanga, Halivikara, Shulka. Match the following them with the purpose or the term's purpose. Toll, plowshare, tax in kind and security. Yes, Rahul. Yes, Saujanya. Correct. It will be B. <coughs> Bhoga is a kind of tax. Halivikara is basically a plow share. Udinanga was the social security tax. Shulka is the toll. Let us see the next question. The emergence of mantricism and worship of female deities also led to occult practices. Along with other school, Shakti cult emerged during Gupta era. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Only A, only B, both 1 and B, none of the above.
Yes, Saujanya, it is true. Both one and B. Actually, Mantric Hinduism, or what do you call Mantricism, as well as worship of female deities, which is Shaktism, these both only together led to the growth of occult practices. The next question is, during which time period was the iron pillar in Delhi erected? Chandragupta 1, Chandragupta 2, Kumaragupta 1 and Samudragupta. The answer is Chandragupta the second. This pillar is also called Mehrauli Iron Pillar Inscription. Mehrauli Iron Pillar Inscription. We'll discuss the next question. This is also which one of the following is not correct about cabinet mission plan is a question which came in 1996. <coughs> Cabinet mission plan. What was the guidelines of cabinet mission plan? No idea. Saujanya, it is asking not correct about the cabinet mission plan. See, see, cabinet mission plan never really gave the acceptance of Pakistan. Pro grouping clause was part of cabinet mission plan. Grouping clause was part of uh, plan. Also, cabinet mission plan only said that they are going to create an interim cabinet of Indians. And constitutional framing right to Indians were definitely accepted from Crips mission itself. Even before cabinet mission plan, 1945 Crips mission itself accepted this. <coughs> 
which one of the following leaders of the Congress was totally in favor of cabinet mission plan? Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Patel, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. So the answer is Sardar Patel. It was actually Sardar Patel who was in full favor of cabinet mission plan. <coughs> Nehru actually had objections to cabinet mission plan because of the grouping clause. Cabinet mission plan had something called a grouping clause. Under the grouping clause, so whenever they wanted, Pakistan could be created eventually. <coughs> The last opportunity <coughs> to avoid the partition of India was lost with the rejection of which of the following? Cripps mission, Rajagopalachari, Cabinet mission and Wavell plan. Anybody else other than Shalija other than this? Guys, what was Cripps mission? The idea of Cripps mission was to give constitutional right to Indians only. Cabinet mission plan was the last attempt. Wavell plan was just before cabinet mission plan in 1945 Shimla conference. <coughs> in fact, Rajagopalachari formula also called CR formula was had basically three principles. The idea was Muslim League will help India, will help Congress. In return, plebiscite will be conducted in Muslim places. For Pakistan. Okay. And the formula would be only implemented when immediate transfer of power happens. In fact, in that way, Rajagopalachari formula or CR formula is actually the first tacit agreement of partition by Indian leaders. Cabinet mission plan was the last attempt to avoid partition. <coughs> which Indian nationalist leader looked upon a war between Germany and Britain as a God sent opportunity which would enable Indians to exploit the situation to their advantage. This is a question in UPSC 1999. C. Raja Rajagopalachari, M. A. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Subhash Chandra Bose, 
एंड जवाहरलाल नेहरू यस यस इट वॉज बोस सुभाष चंद्र बोस सी बोस वॉज ऑफ द आइडिया दैट आई वुड इवन शेक माय हैंड्स विद डेविल इफ इट इज फॉर द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रेसिडेंट्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रेसिडेंट द हिस्टोरिक लॉ लाहौर सेशन इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी नाइन इन विच द डिमांड फॉर पूर्ण स्वराज वॉज रेज ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ रावी रिवर The answer must be Jawaharlal Nehru. The Purna Swaraj resolution was for, was finally taken under the presidentship of Jawaharlal Nehru. The resolution of Quit India movement was passed in which of the following cities? A Bombay, B Calcutta, C Madras, and D Lucknow. the quit india movement was yes <coughs> gowalia tank maidan bombay aruna asaf ali usha mehta sucheta kriplani very important woman of quitinia movement usha mehta hoisted the flag congress flag at gwalia tank The British government appointed an Indian Statutory Commission to review the government of India 1919. This commission is also known as Yes Akshay yeah yeah Gwalior tank is renamed as August Kranti Maidan The Indian Statutory Commission was known as 
Simon Commission. In fact, it was supposed to review the workings of Government of India Act 1919. The problem was Simon Commission was actually an all white commission. So naturally, that became a big issue. Simon Commission was generally rejected by all political parties in India. And when Simon go back, a revolt was happening or protests were happening. Unfortunately, Lala was beaten to death. And uh, in return, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru, Sukhdev went on a rebellion. <coughs> Next question. During the Quit India movement, in which of the following places a parallel government was not formed? A. Satara, B. Balia, C. Talchar, and D. Jaipur. Where was no parallel government? I mean, you need to know this. Huh? Yes, Rahul. In Jaipur, no parallel government was formed. Talchar government continued till 1945. It was actually the longest running government. Balia was the first parallel government. See, during Quit India movement, always remember two things were well known. Number one, Congress never declared a strategy or, or a path to work for. So, naturally, Quit India movement was very, very violent and too many protests. The most radical was nearly seven different governments were formed. There were nearly seven different governments which were formed. Let us see the next question. Which one of the following is not correct about Jyoti Bapule? Jyoti Ba, he used the Dalit word for the first time in the 19th century. He was the staunch supporter of Mahatma Gandhi's Harijan Sevak Sang. He is known as the author of the book Gulam Giri. He formed the Satya Sodhak Samaj in 1873. Yes, Akshay, Chittu Pandey of Balia.
see sometimes in prelims you will never know or you may not be able to recollect the answer just by seeing the question but that's natural to happen <coughs> definitely gulamgiri and satyasodak samaj are associated with jyotiba phule so you can peacefully and happily eliminate these two and get rid of these two because these two are correct the question is asking not correct you may get confused with the word with only option a and option b remember that if you have gone through modern india classes particularly of my modern india classes you will understand that gandhi's harijan focus or even the word harijan is associated with gandhi only after the 1932 communal award no see gandhi signed pune pact 1932 under the pune pact 1932 gandhi accepted that there were some weaknesses in the way depressed classes are treated so we need to fix that this was very clearly decided by gandhi so naturally we can understand that it's a problem so the word harijan itself is a 1932 period word by that time jyotiba phule is already dead no okay so answer must be b next question which of the following is not a literary work of gandhi a hind swaraj b indian opinion c yugantar and d young india yes sabjit it will be c and naturally same way elimination method if you use the elimination method coolly i mean you will you will get a clarity that gandhi's gen indian opinion young india definitely gandhi and newspapers hind swaraj is something which was associated with gandhi after independence okay and yugan uh, yugantar is basic um, after the 1932 communal award so the answer must be c yugantar what were what were the important features of nehru report it contained build of rights it also mentioned that there shall be no state religion men and women shall have equal rights as citizens of india there should be federal form of government with the answer is all of the above nehru's report actually contained the bill of rights eventually this bill of rights is what really becomes the center of in or you can say the main source of our eventual fundamental rights simon commission was sent to india in 1928 at that time who was the prime minister of britain I mean, who was the Prime Minister of Britain in Simon Commission period?
at the time when simon commission was sent to india in 1928 the prime minister of britain was stanley baldwin ये स्टैनली बोल्डविन विल सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन भगत सिंह एंड बट्टू केश्वर दत्त थ्रू अ बॉम्ब ऑन द सेंट्रल लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली ऑन द एट ऑफ अप्रैल 1929 हैज अ प्रोटेस्ट टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बिल्स और एक्ट्स Rowl attack, public safety bill, Woods bill, none of the above. Yes, Arushi. Yes, Akshay. It is B. C. Bhagat Singh and Bhattu Keshwar Dar they were actually they put bombs in Central Legislative Assembly for two bills, Public Safety Bill. I mean, they were protesting against public safety bill and trade disputes bill. See, the reason for these two bills was under the public safety bill, arbitrary arrest was permitted. so anybody could be arrested without any reason without any purpose that was very dangerous the second bill was trade disputes bill under the trade disputes bill in industrial disputes industrial disputes basically required that both the parties the owners and the workers must go to tribunal the other way of interpreting this is no right to strike so that the logic was no right to strike this bhagat singh and batikeshwar that did not agree and they put a bomb and remember the bomb was put in the in such a place that nobody will get hurt <laughs> and at the same time the bomb which was put was a low intensity bomb the idea was as bhagat singh said deaf people need a large sound to hear mm. so the answer is public safety bill <coughs> now this is a very old question where was gandhi ji born Porbandar, Rajkot, Ahmedabad, and Delhi. Yes, the answer is Porbandar. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born in Porbandar. His father was actually the Diwan. 
So Gandhi himself came from a very affluent family. Okay. The next question: Who was the political guru? <coughs> Who was the political guru of Mahatma Gandhi? A. Rabindranath Tagore. B. Swami Vivekananda. C. Gopal Krishna Gokhale. And D. None of the above. The answer is C. Gopal Krishna Gokhale. See, actually, Gokhale was a senior Congress moderate. Um, in South Africa, Gandhi was running the Natal Indian Congress. And in spite of actually Indians making a very low percentage of the South African population, Gandhi left a strong impact on the then South African administrator General Smuts. <coughs> I mean, Gandhi's method of Satyagraha became very popular even in London newspapers. This was heard by Gopal Krishna Gokhale and he sent C. F. Andrews. He is called Dinabandhu. Deshbandhu. Okay. Charles Fitzgerald Andrews. <laughs> yes, Mahatma Gandhi used to seek the opinion of Gokhale also due through the letters from South Africa. Gokhale was the one who persuaded Gandhi to come back to India, invest time in understanding India and work for Indian independence in struggle movement. As I said, C. F. Andrews is generally least known or not very popular Indian nationalist in those days. But remember, till the last days of Gandhi, he was the Andrews was the only man who used to call Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi as Mohan. He he used to not call him Gandhi ji and stuff. He used to call him Mohan. <coughs> That is the friendship he had. From which station in South Africa Gandhi was thrown out of the train? Natal, Johannesburg, Peter Maritzburg, Durban. In approximately 1890 onwards, South Africa used to have a rule, colored and blacks. See colored means we Indians and only foreigners and the blacks were basically the Africans. These people were prohibited from buying first class tickets. <coughs> they could not buy this, but Gandhi actually purchased the ticket via post 
so gandhi was sold the ticket gandhi was gandhi was actually the only colored lawyer across africa employed by abdullah and company see today peter maritzburg is well maintained by south african government and it is kept as a memory they have a little bronze statue of gandhi outside the station in 1893 gandhi was just 23 years he set sail from south africa to be the lawyer of abdullah and company he is basically his cousin he was thrown off the train at say peter maritzburg after refusing to leave the first class next question <coughs> at which place was gandhi ji arrested for the first time by the british government for a sedition bombay pune calcutta ahmedabad Akshay S yes, Gandhi was a lawyer from Lincoln from the university Gandhi was arrested at Sabarmati Ashram on the 10th of March 1922 in fact Gandhi was actually jailed for 6 years jail and that to under sedition sedition is desh dro however i mean look see understand he was eventually released after 2 years of that term by that time gandhi was extremely popular by 1922 guys so by this time already champaran kheda and ahmedabad were already done na okay See, let us see the next question. See, that's it in this session today, and uh, we will continue a similar class coming in the coming days. What I will do is from now on, I will give two to three days of notice. i will give you the chapters to study and then we will have questions okay is that fine with you and over time we will also inculcate current affairs as well thank you for your time guys you have a nice sunday bye bye